skirt. Oh, yeah. That was my bad. Oh, it was? <laughs> well, I think it was a lot more than that. Yeah, it was. I was wondering what the f is going on because uh, when I got up to it, it said 25,000. It kept running and then it kept going down the other way. Yeah. I don't know how much is in this truck. Okay. Yeah, that's my bad. There's a little bit of corn up top there. See, what happened was yesterday we harvested some corn and I was trying to shut the scale off on there so we don't drain the battery but I accidentally hit the zero button and there was already some in there and so uh, there was way more in there <laughs> than what it said and so Jeff overloaded that truck because he thought it was gonna just run out but it just kept coming <laughs> There we go. And we're having trouble with that auger. It's not swinging back in all the way. So we got some lube. Fish meal? Fish? Yeah. Thanks. No, look at this though. Yeah. You gotta check this out. Did they throw the extra three scoops off? They put the 25 scoop, I kid you not. <laughs> uh oh. What? There was a fork. Oh, there it is. Move it in and out. We got the two loop. Hey, can you put it in park? The wheels are spinning, man. go a little bit further. That didn't help. I don't know if there's a greaser that we're missing. That sucks. It just needs to pull in about four more inches. We're back on corn. We started this field uh, about a week and a half ago, and then it just wasn't dry enough, so we went to beans, finished beans last week. Today's Monday. Oh, guess what today is? The day this video is going up, it's actually my birthday. So isn't that rad? So we'll finish this field, it looks like in two or three hours, not much left, and I am not sure where we're going next, so we'll get moving. Jeff is set up on that south bend. The farm's right there, about a mile away. And yeah, it's kind of a tight fit. I might have to run over there and move some gravel with the skid loader. There's a pile of gravel that's in the way every single year. Every single year. But it's a nice spot for gravel. Yesterday when we were out here, we saw a big burly raccoon running. This last weekend I bought an AR because they're cool. Kind of wish I would have had it. I'm assuming this product is out there. Does anyone have something that like sticks to the window so it holds the gun up nice in your tractor cab? That's what I need. I see a lot of jackrabbits, raccoons, the occasional coyote. Add a little excitement to the day when you can pluck one of them critters every once in a while. Man, we got like one and a half rounds left of this field. Plugging away. Been seeing quite a few of these spots right here. I think I think it's just poor soil and with our drought they burn up real bad. Another possibility, I'm not hundred percent sure, but it could have been some disease setting in. It could have went hand in hand with that poor soil too. They were just set back and not very healthy plants, so they got beat to crap. But they look horrible. They're half as tall as the corn that looks okay. Woo -hoo. That's a deep trench. Wow. One more pass. Wonder if that raccoon's still in here. 
I think he's somewhere in here. I looked at Dad and he went like there was something running. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Where'd he go? I, did he go through the combine? Oh! Oh, brother! He he plugged a row on the... I, he didn't make it. Oh! That's graphic! That... He didn't make it. I didn't expect that at all. I uh, assumed he was going to run out the side. He was headed for the side, and then he just turned back and ran straight at the corn head. And as you can assume, that didn't work out too good for him. So. Dad called me. He said he slammed on the brakes, but it was too late. He thought he was going to have to pull him out by hand. He, he, he was stuck in there. I've seen pictures of deer getting stuck up in there. That's not a good deal. If you do want to see some video of that critter stuck in the gathering chains, there's one on my TikTok if TikTok didn't take it down. The moral of the story, guys, never turn back. Just, just keep going. Because that combine header is going to get you every time. Somebody bought themselves a crust buster drill. We got one of them. Jeff's got another truck coming. Cole's got the grain cart. Combine's already over there. We only had to move a mile and a quarter. That's really nice. Close moves. These fields, they'll be running 200. And you're getting those bad soil types. Be down in the 30s and 40s even. I guess if I'm in a bad mood, I can say my corn's running 40. If I'm in a good mood, I'll say, yeah, it's hitting 200. I don't know which mood to be in. I don't have much to say. Cole will say, geez, Dad, you'd run it for eight minutes and you didn't say much. You just keep blabbing. Song of the week. We're going to start doing that. I was talking about Alice in Chains Rooster a couple weeks ago in a video. Man in the Box. It's awesome. Check it out. That's all I got to say about that. This is one of our best fields. It usually pumped beans out like crazy. Corn's pretty good also. That's a tight one.
show you how mature of a son I have here. What you doing? Trying to keep I, sane? I thirst. <laughs> Are you out? Yeah. I could probably pee a little if you know. <laughs> I got a part of a bottle in there if you want. Of pee? Water. <laughs> oh, no thanks. That's probably some of the best looking corn we've been in all year. I don't know. If, I don't know how it's yielding, but it's tall. It's still standing. Looks like some pretty fancy stuff. It's a close one. Ooh. Oh, now he's spinning out. I may have psyched him out a little bit when he asked me, how's it look when I'm leaving? I'm like, yeah, it's close. There's a hole on this side and then it's just not good getting through the other, getting around there. It was leaning. You think we need a load of dirt in there? Might help. Might help? Yeah. I think the tradition continues. About every year we rip one of those off. Yeah. That's the second one of the year. I think Dad ripped one off when we were doing wet corn. Bad day to be a mud flap. Oh. Yeah. I feel like this time he's using speed. Oh Lord, keep that truck from tipping. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Oh. It just starts going a little. Oh, combine's getting full. Jeff says cow poo water tastes better than this glacier mist. We got this at Runnings, and there is there is your Jeff review of the day. It says this water tastes worse than the Mitchell Lake water. If you've never been to Mitchell Lake, that's the type of water that gives you the runs for a week. I bet he's stiff.
Let's hope dad don't put her in the ditch. I don't feel like tipping over too bad. Wow, look at you. <laughs> you good doggy. <laughs> Wasn't there a mud flap in that truck? Oh. Okay. I was like, Jesus. Hello. These are some fancy girls, ain't they? That's about it for today. We're just gonna keep rolling on corn, get that done this week. We are having some problems with the swingway on that auger. Just the motors on the wheels that make that swingway come out, they aren't working very good. So we might switch that out tomorrow morning. These girls will be calving in about four months. Got a ways to go and I'm excited for that. So we appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. So, Dad, are you forgetting something? Outro? Well, what? this is the outro, but... Okay, what do you want me to say? Well, you... <laughs> well, you forgot your favorite son's birthday. It's not any of my son's birthdays. Well, when this video goes up, it will be. So. Oh, well, I can't be expected to know that. It's pretty rude. Happy birthday. Anna. Thank you. That's more like it. And I meant that from the heart. <laughs> <laughs>